Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add the 3D spatial effect on the wallpaper on your iPhone lock screen on iOS 26. Now, if you haven't updated your iPhone to iOS 26, you can simply do that by going to your setting, general, and the software update, and make sure you're up to date to iOS 26, which is the latest update. Now, one thing to keep in mind is this feature is going to be available on iPhone 12 or newer devices. So if you have iPhone 11, although it can update to iOS 26, it's not going to be available. So a couple ways to do this one. Usually you want to start with a photo that has a clear uh, indication that you can actually make this into like uh, 3D spatial effects. Some pictures will not work. So here I'm going to go ahead and to my library here. I'm gonna pick a photo that makes sense. Usually you want a photo that's clear. Usually if you have a selfie, that works great. Photo with a center icon that could be in 3D form. So here is a photo that I'm gonna use as an example. And I'm gonna click on that here to use as a wallpaper. You can also go into your setting into the wallpaper. Now if a photo is able to do the 3D spatial effect, you'll see this icon right here in the corner. So if I tap on this, it will start generating this spatial scene. And as you can see here, it moves like 3D now on it with using that effect. And then you can also customize any of this. And then once you're done, click on done here. And you can also pinch and zoom in and out. And I'm gonna set a wallpaper. And just like that, I can go ahead and lock it. And now I'll see that effect on the phone here. If I move it around, as you can see here, that 3D effect comes in play. Again, key thing here is to try with different photos. Some photos will not have the option, other will. You can also simply go into your setting and then go to wallpaper, add a wallpaper, and then go to photos and then choose a photo. If I select one for this one example, it doesn't have it because it doesn't recognize that it is a center piece here. So again, some photos will work, some will not. So you'll have to pick the right photo to get that feature to suit it the way you want it and then adjust it accordingly just like that so that's how you do it i hope this video was helpful so please consider like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks i'll see you guys next time